There are these kinds of towns that are so pristine and well preserved that one may feel having getting lost in a Disney fairy tale. One of them is Saint Ursan in the canton of Jura in Switzerland. Let yourself be guided through this alluring town by the river and get to feel its medieval vibes. Who knows, after watching this video, you may want to consider traveling there. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Geomographic. I'm now standing in this wonderful village called saint Ursan. It's said to be one of the most beautiful ones in Switzerland. If you like anything about traveling and culture, then you're right on this channel here. So you're most welcome to subscribe. And also don't forget to activate the notification bell, so you'll be informed for every new upload. There's a lot to see, so let's go and explore this village together. saint Ursan is a humble town with a small population of roughly 700 people. It lays by the river Du and reminds me a lot of the town of Belle from Beauty and the Beast. The town can be accessed from multiple points, however I would say the best way to enter is by crossing this bridge. Now entering the village and here I actually have to share with you it's my first time that I'm now in the canton of Jura. So finally I visited the last canton which was missing in my list. So now I have visited all of them. I'm now at the center of the village. So here we have the church which is said to be very beautiful. Then we have fountain which is very stereotypical. There are apparently a lot of restaurants. I heard fish is a speciality from here. I'm going to try that later. saint Ursan is a very well-preserved medieval town of Switzerland. During normal years, there is quite a lot going on. For example, on a two-year basis to hold a medieval spectacle where the people can come to watch the lifestyle back during these days. It normally takes place on odd years, Sadly, this year, due to the pandemic, the spectacle is not going to be held. The more you're immersing yourself into this beautiful town, you may see the similarities it has with its bigger brother Stein am Rhein. In particular, the medieval culture and appearance are very much alike. Besides seeing the many beautiful houses, one also has to visit the Abbey. The abbey is dedicated to Saint Ursicinus, an Irish monk who was very active in this region and was declared a saint after his passing. Above his grave stands today's abbey, which was founded after his death. In the past, monasteries were the units that administered the surrounding regions. Often due to the presence of a monastery, towns were granted a market license, which back then was a necessity for a town to have a flourishing economy. The Collegiate Church itself is also very much worth a visit. The interior is very typical for a Romanesque pillar basilica. There is also a choir and a crypt. Indeed, the church was very beautiful. What's a lot more enjoyable is the ideal present in this village. It's just very calm up here. This here is actually the youngest canton of Switzerland. It only gained its independence in 1979 from the canton of Bern. Yes, you heard right. It gained its independence. And prior to that, there was actually quite a long-lasting conflict between majority French Catholic Jura and German-speaking Protestant Bern. Eventually, at the peak of the crisis, the canton of Bern decided to hold a referendum about the status of Jura. And then, in 1979, the Catholic and French-speaking part gained its independence. And still up to this day, the part of Jura, which still belongs to the canton of Bern, is part of a dispute. Just in 2013, we had another popular vote about the status, but then they still decided to remain with the canton of Bern. 
Now in 2021, one year after my first visit, the discussions are still ongoing. On 28th of March this year, the town Moutier decided to switch from the canton of Bern to Jura, underlining the high degree of freedom within Switzerland's direct democratic system. As you can see, saint ursan is undergoing a renovation. They will replace those plaster stones and it's going to cost a couple of million Swiss francs. The village is even asking for donations. I just donated something because I think that's for a good purpose. It helps the tourism and also it helps the local culture of the people here of the canton of Jura. As saint ursan lays by the river, it's no big surprise that fish is considered a local speciality. The food in here is really delicious and the fish is just a must try. For people who are interested in arts, there is also this gallery to visit. In there you will get to see many paintings and sculptures with interesting motifs. saint Ozan is best to be visited during late spring and summer, however it's also very much worth to travel there during winter season. Especially when there is a lot of snow, saint Ozan really has its fairy tale charm. Having traveled there for a second time during Christmas season, I can say it's really a great time to enjoy this town with its many lights. And if you're lucky, you might even be able to enjoy a fantastic sunset. saint Ozan is for sure a great destination to visit. It's very quiet and romantic. A great place to stay should you consider traveling there is this bed and breakfast called Chalet Bosit, from where you'll be able to enjoy a beautiful view down to saint Ozan. I got to meet the owner and definitely I can say she is a very friendly and hospitable person. We've reached the end of this video, I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and share it to your friends, that would be really awesome. If you're new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, then you're most welcome to do that now. I very much appreciate that. So that's it from my side, we're going to see each other very soon.